Last time at Daytona, Chase Briscoe and Eric Almarola lead the field to green. The bottom lane, as always, becomes the hot spot as drivers cautiously battle for position. Five laps in, and they are already going three wide. Uh, or, or not. Well, that sucks for Blaney. The king of Daytona, Denny Hamlin, takes charge towards the end of stage number one. However, his teammate Martin Truex Jr. is charging hard. Hamlin up and down the track, trying to block as Riley Herbst goes for it, but doesn't quite get it. Hamlin on the high side, no! He gets overran by Kevin Harvick, who takes it three wide, but it would be Martin Truex Jr. who would steal the lead and win stage number one. Stage two restarts with Martin Trucks Jr. and Joey Logano leading the way. Three lanes are now in full effect. Everyone in the field is fighting for position with everything they've got because this is the last race of the regular season. Drivers like Bubba Wallace and Ty Gibbs are fighting for that last playoff spot, but anyone can win and eliminate them both. Drivers like Chase Elliott, Eric Almarola, Austin Sindrick, Alex Bowman, and more all have to win to get in. Coming to the end of stage number two, Ty Gibbs, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Busch, and others are all in the fight. Ty Gibbs is fighting for every last point because he needs this stage win to make it to the playoffs. With Bubba Wallace in 19th, this may be his ticket in. He just needs to hold on for one more mile. Or not. Or may maybe he can hold on for a good finish. Okay. Oh, wow. Ryan Blaney gets turned by Ty Gibbs. Vicious impact to the outside wall. Austin Sindrick, Harrison Burton, but most importantly, Ty Gibbs is out of this race and officially out of the playoffs. Ty Gibbs loses his chance to compete for the championship in his rookie season. Now Bubba Wallace sits comfortably in the last playoff spot. He doesn't have to win. He doesn't even have to finish this race. All he needs is for a driver ahead of him in the points to win. <laughs> Brad's car caught on fire and he started doing donuts. <clears throat> anyway, stage two starts with Chase Briscoe and Kyle Busch out front. Eric Amarola pushes his teammate to the lead. After a small shakeup with a 13 of Chandler Smith, the three SHR teammates lead this race with Ryan Priest at the tail end with Harvick close behind. All but one is in the playoffs, but that could change today. Ryan Priest gets loose and falls back through the middle of the pack. Less than 20 laps remain now in this race. With 16 laps to go, the first wave of green flag pit stops begin. A dozen drivers dart off the track to fuel up and back on the track they go. Only three laps later and here comes the rest of the pack. A splash of fuel and the race continues. Two big packs separate the field now as the laps wind down. Kevin Harvick out front with Chase Elliott behind. Five laps to go now as they exit the tri-oval. Over half the top 10 has yet to win a race this season. Kevin Harvick, 60 career wins, looking for 61. Chase Elliott just trying to make it in the playoffs after a season full of struggle. Brad Keselowski looking to win as a driver owner, but back in the pack sits Bubba Wallace, just trying to hang on. Living on a prayer that the seas will part ahead of him as we have a spinner, Ryan Priest goes around. since we've seen a car get up in the air like that. Usually these cars are with all the mechanisms, roof flaps and everything else. They need help, oddly, to be lifted off the ground. See him with his helmet off, coming out of the car. That's Ryan standing there in the middle of the AMR safety team. Overtime, what every driver dreads at any race, let alone at Daytona for the cutoff. Five miles to go in the regular season only if they can make it back to the white flag. Kevin Arvick on the inside, Christopher Busher to his right. Green flag is back in the air. 
As the pack barrels down into turn number one, Brad Keselowski gives a huge push to the 17 and almost gets turned on the backstretch. RFK leads going into turns three and four, bumper to bumper as they cross the line. This race is now over, whether we make it back or not. RFK putting on a masterclass of drafting. Kevin Harvick falls out of line as RFK Racing has no challengers. Two wins already this season. Breakout in 2023. Christopher Busher takes it at Daytona. Whew, okay, we can breathe now. Oh my goodness. Christopher Busher celebrates his fifth career victory as Bubba Wallace celebrates his first ever playoff berth. Bubba Wallace survives Daytona and has a shot at the title. And just like that, with a season filled with chaos, the playoffs begin. I open my eyes and I'm greeted by a cute little smile. The world is new with you by my side. Everything is beautiful. Tuesday afternoon, I'm calling you home. One of them will win the Daytona 500. And Ricky Stenhouse has won the Daytona 500. Yeah, welcome to RCR, baby. Yeah, baby. Woo! Kyle Busch will get a 63rd career victory in the NASCAR Cup Series. For the second week in a row, William Byron comes off All turn four. Checkered by yeah. Byron wins the Goodyear 400. Severe weather in the area. The race has been declared official. 24 is the race winner. And William Byron is going to win at the Glen. Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson. What a performance. A dominating performance by Kyle Larson. Joey Logano dominates Atlanta. For Team Penske in four. Oh, yeah. Before the Coca-Cola 600 belongs to Ryan Blaney. And like his Penske teammate at Indy, he wants to go celebrate with the fans. Tyler Reddick, Masters Circuit of the Americas. Christopher Bell comes to the flag. You won. Hell yeah, buddy. Good job. Wow. Hell yeah, guys. Excellent job. And Monday is for Martin and Dover, Martin Truex. Martin Masters Sonoma, Martin Truex. It will be the first time that Martin Truex Jr. has won at New Hampshire. He's going to get to him, getting loose. He is loose. Oh, he's oh, he him. Him. And Larson's in the wall. Hamlin wins Kansas after a fierce battle with Kyle Larson. Win 50 comes at the booze of Pocono fans. A win here at Nashville for Ross Chastain puts him in the playoff. Or here the Bridgman. Busher wins at the short track. Down to the bottom of the racetrack he goes. He's closed the gap. Busher is going to do it. He goes back to back. He'll win in Michigan. As they come to the trioval, Busher's going to win at Daytona. And we see Kevin Harvick pulling up beside him to lead the field here in Atlanta. News, Kevin Harvick to step away from full-time racing after the 2023 NASCAR season. Parker, let me be the first to welcome Bubba Wallace to the 2023 playoffs. Uh, that was the most stressed, but also the most locked in that I've ever been. 23-11, uh, third year in, getting both cars in the playoffs. We've gone through a lot of uh, trials and tribulations, but uh, just uh, so proud of the effort that we put in. No matter how much we set ourselves back, we know that we have a kick-ass group and we can bounce back from anything. So For the first time ever, Bubba Wallace, 23-11, and the 23 team will be a player in the playoffs.